Hey, yo, what's good, my G? It's crack lacking. You ready to pop some things tonight, cuz? Uh, 70 by nine, cuz. I got these on my neck. Check the diamond, man. Check the diamond. Normally on this channel, we are doing budget stuff and uh, I'm always trying to save a pretty penny. Now I've gone out, I've spent a whole lot of money on a set of wheels and it's definitely the most expensive set I've ever bought. Behind me right here, we have the Dirty Life uh, Enigma Race Beadlock. Now these are a negative 12 in a 17 by nine. And over here, we have my trusty Max Trek tires. Now I did obviously save a pretty penny on these ones because they are quite cheap tires. These have always been a good tire for me. I've ran three sets now and never had an issue. So we're going them again and uh, yeah, that's that. Beadlocks do take a while to fit up. So we are gonna be fitting the tires ourselves, um, and we're gonna fit them up and it's gonna take a long time. Then we're gonna bolt them on the patrol and they are gonna look absolutely mint. So without further ado, let's get stuck into today's episode. Get these mounted on the tires, get them on the patrol and get the dog. All right, we're in the shed today. Uh, Harry's over to give us a hand mounting these wheels up. So obviously you guys know I love my chrome wheels. So when I honestly seen these things, I said to myself, no. And then I just went and bought them anyway. Now these are a competition beadlock. And that means that this ring is gonna hold our tire on. So that is basically how it'll sit in the finish. Now, if you guys don't know what a beadlock does, it actually uh, sandwiches the tire onto the rim. So we can run really low PSI when we're full driving. And uh, like, let's say if you're going up the beach, you're running 15 PSI and you hit a corner real quick, the chances are it's not gonna rip the tire off the rim. Um, but if you just had a normal rim, there's a good chance that you're gonna pull that tire off. So these are the quick specs here if I haven't already set them. Um, if you want to pause the screen, if you want to copy me, that's all G. Now we need to get these all unboxed, get everything laid out, get my tools ready, and then we're going to start mounting the tires up. All right, we've got everything laid out on the floor. This is sort of just how I like to work. It feels a little bit more organized doing it this way. So basically what we're doing is that first lip in there is going to pop over, and then the second lip is actually going to sit on here. And sometimes you do have to beat it around so it just sort of sits in there nice. Then we can put our beadlock ring on and then you put all your bolts in and make sure it goes down nice and even. I'm not gonna film the process too much because if you wanna learn more about beadlocks, go to my previous video where we fit up the 37s. Um, but in this video, we're just gonna sort of power through this just to get it done and get them on the patrol because I'm way too excited. Now it take a long time to nip all these bolts up by hand. So what I like to do is grab the drill. I set the clutch on the drill to a very low torque setting and I go through and just nip up all the bolts with the drill. And this just saves a whole heap of time. After that, we can bust out the torque wrench and start talking these up to spec. fine tools to suit the bolt. It was way too big to go in some of the holes, so just lanished it down a bit and she should be mint. Sheesh! Holy crap, man, this one looks thick. They're obviously not gonna poke that much, but they look bloody insane. I love how they're twisted. Like the spokes are twisted. It just makes it look like it's already going fast. We've got to get the rest done. Um, that one there probably took about half an hour. So we'll get the rest done. Harry's sort of lining the bolts up. I'm bolting them in and it's just working really well. And what we forgot to mention also is the red dot should line up with the valve stem before you put the ring on. What do we do to the first tire? Can't fix this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we completely forgot on the first wheel and it's not coming apart to get redone. So we're just gonna continue on. Jeez, did you only get 35s, Dad? That's pussy, I would've gone 37s. Bead lock, bead lock. Do you approve? I like it, Dad, that's sick. All right guys, that was the last one all done and dusted. 
Old Harry is uh, a bit worn out on the back. So now that these are done, we need to pop the rear bead. Can you flip one over so I can show? We basically need to get this bead seated over the back of the rim so it's kind of got to pop into this section. So we need to start up the air compressor and once we get some air in there, we can shake them around and jump on them and it should just pop. Then we can actually fit them to the car, which is the most exciting part. That's easy. They still look fat on a nine inch rim, eh? Yeah. I was hoping that they didn't look too like skinny. It's about to go. <laughs> all right, blokes, we have the bloody wheels all mounted up and I've actually taken the center cap off because we have a patrol got big old hubs, so I don't think you can run these bad boys, but we'll see when we fit it up. They look insane. I'm so happy with them. The ring around the outside is my favorite part. What do you reckon has, Baz? They look mint, brother. They look awesome, Tom. Do you like them? Smick. So now that they're all finished up, we're gonna bring the patrol in, because it's actually raining today, of course. Um, so we'll bring it in, we'll jack it up, we'll get the wheels on, we'll take a look. I also have a bonnet protector and some weather shields that I might chuck on while it's in the shed. I think I may as well. And um, yeah, then we can actually take it for a drive. I've only put 30 PSI in the tires at the moment. So we'll probably just go down the servo and get some lunch or something and just pump them up to about 38 or 37, something like that. And yeah, we are about to put 35 bead locks on our new GU Patrol. It's a very exciting um, time for me. Anything to say? No. Nah. Right, hey bloke, let's get him on. What about this one? Literally cannot afford five, so that is going to stay exactly here. Mm. Titis, what titis? <laughs> We got one on. You can see there's just a little bit of pokey boys, but we wanted to sort of keep this legal. And if I want to run a little bit more poke, I do have a uh, correctly centerboard and machined out six millimeter spacer, but I'm just going to run them uh, completely stock standard, just like this. And if I do want to add that later, I can just put the spacer on later. <laughs> Look how much higher it is. It's like just sitting like this on an angle. It looks sick from here. Mm, they look good. It looks so good, and you can see they're just... Actually, I think they're legal. I, don't, I think you'd, you'd have to get a really bad cop to pull you up on them. Oh, right, quickly, we'll jack the front up, do the front, then we'll pull her out, have a look. Might actually, by Tim, we may as well do the uh, weather shields as well. They're just the tinted ones, because we have the grandpa ones on there, so I can get them off. Yeah. Right, we are finally done. We've got the wheels on. I'm very happy with these. Now they do not poke as much as normally I would like, but because this is a bit of a daily driver, it's not the worst thing in the world to have it legal for once. What do you reckon? Definitely an upgrade of the old bloody stockies. It looks so bloody clean. You can see from here, there's just a tiniest little bit of sidewall poke, but nothing too serious. You shouldn't get bugged, but definitely has changed the whole look of the car. Give you guys a proper look when we pull it out and we'll get some food. At the moment, Harry keeps begging me to take the exhaust bolts out of the flange so that it's it's noisy and we can hear some turbo noises and stuff. So he's gonna do that and he's promised me that if I don't like it, he's gonna bolt it straight back up. I do have uh, plans to do three inch exhaust, all that sort of stuff, but Harry just wants to hear how loud it is for now. So I'll let him do that. I am actually gonna start taking off this uh, little clear visor here. And I also have the tinted weather shields to go on here. So I'm gonna wax and grease everything up. 
I'm going to take this off, I'll put the new one on, I'll fit them, and then I'm going to grab a sticker out of my um, shop there and I'll chuck a sticker on it. So I've had some clearance issues, it pulled the mud flaps off straight away, so I got rid of them, grinders out, basically just got to take just a little bit off the inner guard to stop it catching, otherwise we're going to rip this whole fender off. We're in the car, we're ready to go test these things out, see how they go, and also Harry has cut the exhaust off. so. Don't really know how that's gonna go yet. Probably gonna sound like crap. Give us a dose. It's literally not even different at all. <laughs> there's like no exhaust change whatsoever. Like there's tight the tiniest little bit of pigeoning. Woo! <laughs> My car out here, we're out in the middle of nowhere. Um, just ventured out into the stick somewhere just so we could get a couple of pictures and stuff. So I am sorry about that road, but um, we've got the rigs out here. Harry bought his out. It has changed a lot since YouTube seen it last. If you're following him on TikTok, you would have seen all the changes, but follow me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a quick rig run down. <laughs> Put a Rome Life sticker on his uh, bonnet visor. Do not recommend doing it. It doesn't look too bad, but you know. He's also, come around this way. He's also uh, got some aluminium bead locks as well. They're 17 by nines as well. So with the uh, classic Max Trek uh, tire there. So absolute bloody ready for the bush. Uh, he's got the mirrors, done a stainless snorkel as well. Uh, and he put the roof rack on. So this thing's looking really good at the moment. And it's definitely due for a trip. Anyway. Back over this roof. I've got the sunroof popped. If you can't tell, we, we lifted the sunroof up just to show that it's a TI. Right, absolutely stoked with these wheels, guys. Poke is actually perfect. I'm really, really happy with the poke. And it's just nice to drive a car around that's not too illegal. Uh, now, there is some big movements on the way for this thing. We have suspension coming from a company that has jumped on board. That is epic. It's one of the biggest achievements of my life. So look out for that. We've also got uh, a lot of other stuff in the works. I'm sort of just waiting on parts and stuff like that. All right, so that is actually going to be it for today, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little episode, changing the wheels and changing the whole look of this thing. I think it turned out really good. I'm very, very happy with the wheel choice. But definitely let me know what you guys think down in the comments, as you always do. But for now, we are going to get out of here and get some food. So we'll catch you guys on the next episode. If you want some merch, roamlife.com. Um, if you want to watch the next video, definitely subscribe. Hopefully you guys are excited as I am for this build. I honestly can't wait to get this thing pumping now. Later, Harry. Thanks for watching, guys. Diesel's barking. He's in the back. Catch you later. Please.